If you're new to Windows Server 2019, you may not be aware of how to add roles and features or what they are. And what we do is we see Server Manager that launches automatically when you log into Windows Server 2019, as well as older versions down to 2012. Here we have Add Roles and Features. And we click that, we see a wizard pops up. Click Next at the bottom right. And we have these two options that you see here, the role-based or feature-based installation and remote desktop services. As long as you're not doing remote desktop services, you can go ahead and click Next. And most people won't be doing that to start with. It may be something they add later. Here you want to make sure that you select the correct server. Now, you may end up seeing a lot of different servers here or just one. So make sure you select the right one. And the reason you might see a lot of them is if a previous administrator might have created a group, and a group of servers would all show up here. Next, here we have some server roles that are already installed, and you can see because of the checkbox. Now, if it's a gray checkbox, it comes already previously installed because of things like adding in active directories. You can see the, the two at the top. The ones that are the black square means that if you hit the expand, then it doesn't have every different server role selected. So you can add additional options here if you want. And then, of course, the ones that don't have any checkmark in it means that they have not been added at all. I'm going to add in the DHCP server. And when I do, it automatically prompts me to add in any features that might go with it. So that way I don't have to know what features that I have to select. It just automatically selects them. So I'll click Add Features. Click Next. And now we're in the Features area. So you don't need to do anything here at this time because it already automatically added everything that we needed. And now we'll click Next and Install. And that is how you install a server role. Now, besides server roles and features, there's also something called role services. And role services are basically subcategories of server roles. So for instance, when I expanded routing and remote access, you saw a few different subcategories underneath it. And those are role services. And we'll take a look at those in an upcoming video. If you don't want to wait for this to be installed, you can just go ahead and click Close, and it will continue the installation until it's complete. Uh, but if you do want to watch to make sure there's no errors, you can do that as well. And we see our server role was added. Now we have a couple of options here. One is I can click on Complete DHCP Configuration here, and it'll pop up with the configuration portion. Just adding the role isn't enough. You also have to configure it in many cases. But you could, if you forget that, you could also go click Close and just find that same option here. When you click on this little flag, you'll see a warning here. And you see the same option to complete the DHCP configuration. So here's a wizard that pops up that allows us to configure DHCP. Now, I've done this in other videos, so I'm not going to do it here, but I just wanted to show you where that was after you add in the server role. So that's how you add server roles in Windows Server 2019 all the way back to Windows Server 2012.